In 21st century Britain, the cult of celebrity has never been stronger. Push your bum down, perfect. And my nails are disgusting. Pampered, spoiled and adored. There was nothing better than stepping out in front of 100,000 people. Modern day celebs seem to have won life's golden ticket. This time has been the best time in Royal History, for me anyway. I want to find out what happens when they're stripped to their luxury lifestyles. This is endurance no one could prepare for. And left to fend for themselves in the wild. I think I'll hang in there. I've abandoned 10 celebrities. No! on a remote desert island. <laughs> I have to remind myself that I'm not going to die. In the Pacific. Please, God, let us have fish today. Marooned in just the clothes they stand up in. We're living like pigs. And with a handful of basic tools. Oh, my God. This is all the slide. Give me the machete. Got to calm down, Ewan. Along with five trained camera operators. Don't stuff the camera in my face. They'll be left completely alone. What's up? <laughs> oh, my God, oh, my God! Filming everything themselves. Look at that. Look at his ass. Our skin's basically rotting. I can't believe this is only day three. We are better than this. Come on, we can do this. I'm going to go home. I'm going to have to go home. Deprived of all the creature comforts they take for granted. You know that is the penis, that bit, don't you? They'll only eat what they can hunt down and kill. Get in! <laughs> Men are wimps. Oh, God! With the mask of celebrity <laughs> ripped aside. Ewan is acting like a psychopath. <laughs> Will they have the courage? It won't work. It won't work. We don't need everyone's opinion every five seconds. Just chill. Determination to survive. If you don't have water, you die. Just give us something. Ah! I'm beginning to freak out a bit. We're all going to die out here. since I dropped them on the island five days ago. Yeah! You and so Alpha. Can't fuck with you and. Under self-appointed leader Ewan. Let's do this. Three celebs went in search of a water source. We're going the wrong way. What are you, are you talking about? And you're having a go at me. I'm having a go. And got lost in the jungle. We are quite a strong team that's come out this morning and we have fucked ourselves. With the alpha males out of action, this is a desperate situation. The women, led by Shazia. Animals have been here. Took up the quest. Ah! It's not salty. It's, it's not. not. It's not salty. <laughs> but when the group failed to make fire. We've got water. We don't need fire tonight. They were left at the mercy of the elements. It's freezing. Sarah. It's shivering. It's horrendous. That was honestly, that was honestly like a form of torture. With the onset of rainy season, the celebrities have had a massive wake-up call. Look, on a positive note, seriously, yeah, it's stopped it's raining now, yeah, OK? It's actually fine. It's actually it fine. Awesome. We've just got to try and keep warm and keep your body moving. Bear Grylls normally gets naked and does press-ups in the snow. I've seen it. No, focus, seriously. With no fire and no shelter, they've left themselves dangerously exposed to the elements. It's crazy. Crazy. I don't know why we're doing this. I just think it's stupid. I could be home having breakfast. We're going to go. No fucking discussions. We're going to find somewhere to live and we're going to start building a den. The girls can recoup, relax here. I think the bigger, stronger lads, we've got to go and try and make somewhere to live. Without consulting the others, we're going to go and build it now. Ewan gathers a small team to carry out his plan. I think we need to, as we've said, whoever's got the energy. I don't even think it's about voting it. I just think no. we should say, listen, this is how it is. Yeah. It's do or die today. I need to obviously get changed. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait for you. Ass. You sure, mate? Look at that, mate. Look at his ass. Hey, Ryan. Nice ass, you sexy Mancunian bastard. Survival's all about weighing up your priorities. The reality is if too many individuals are pulling in different directions, then you've got valuable time and valuable energy taken away for the things that really matter. Go on. This is our fifth night. We need fire. <laughs> we need fire because we, we obviously can't cook without it, uh, nor can we purify water to drink. I'd almost go so far as to say that fire is useful. Huh. Don't you think? Nah, I think we could go another two weeks. My season five, RJ. I'm RJ Mitty. I'm best known uh, for my work in Breaking Bad as Walter White Jr. 
I really try not to get caught up too much in that Hollywood lifestyle. I really try to bring normality to my life as much as possible. I can fish, I know how to make netting, I know how to make spears, you name it, I can build it. I definitely feel that with the number of people, we can catch at least one fish. RJ knows a hell of a lot of stuff. RJ, that was skills. And he really does want the best for the group. I, I was frantic last night because I couldn't find my clothes and I was very, very uncomfortable, all the rest of it, and RJ just came and was like a brother to me and he put a jacket over my head and just looked after me, basically. He has a, a real heart, RJ. Do you think we should start on the fire? Yeah, we... The bow drill's not here. Desperate to avoid another freezing night, ex-Towie star Lucy wants to join the effort to make fire. But Vital Kit is missing. When it rained last night, I said to you, and can I put this in your bag to keep it dry? And then this morning, he charged off with half of the bow drill kit. So you know the so top everyone's bit. gone with the bow drill, yeah, which is our most important thing. And we just had the most horrendous night of our lives because we had no fire. We weren't all in agreement about that area anyway. No, I know. No one discussed it with us. The bigger issue is we should all be making fire. No. We're like the most dysfunctional family in the world. People think people from Essex are a certain type of person. A lot of people think I'm probably, yeah, stupid. I don't really have a real job and I can't really do much other than, you know, walk down a red carpet, but that could not be further than the truth. Am I ready? Yeah, you're ready. <laughs> I want to strip that all back and people to see the real me. I am a lot more hardcore than people think. Well, I hope. <laughs> Gets to day two. Oh. <laughs> A scorpion, get me off. It's all just a bit frustrating because everyone just goes off at six in the morning and doesn't discuss what they're doing. And now look at us, we've got half a bojil kit, we've got no machete so we can't eat or drink. It's just frustrating. Should we go and find the guys? Okay, I'm up, keep going. I'm at the end, I can go a bit more. No, it won't right, but it will go there, yeah? That's good. Brilliant. A kilometre up the coast, Ewan has found a location for his new shelter. I've done it before, I've built a den before, and I'm, I'm confident. I really want the guys to say, oh, my God, it looks great, because this is home. We've had to make a decision between, like, four of us. Someone had to take the ball by the horns, and the group that came out today have done that. Hello, hello. So this is where you went, then? Lucy and camera operator Sally have tracked down Ewan to retrieve the missing bow drill set. The girls want to start a fire, and apparently half the fire equipment is here. I gave the doctor everything when I left to come here at 7 this morning, 100%. We've got no machetes, half a bow we drill. We only took three machetes. There's six machetes in camp, so you've got half, we've got half. There's six no, knives. I put all the machetes and stuff in the bag. Did you? So you've got all the machetes with you? I just put what was there in the bag. So, yeah. so hold on, you guys left at, what, 6 a.m.? You didn't consult any of, any of the camp? Yeah, did. I'm sorry, where, we did. But we where, were, no, you didn't. Yeah, we didn't have a team meeting, bro. We were, we were in panic mode. Last night was so bloody traumatic. If we have another thunderstorm tonight, we're in exactly the same position. We might be in a shelter, but we're not going to be warm. We're going to be freezing cold and damp again. With the camera team living in exactly the same conditions as the celebs, the group's decisions also affect them. Every single person on this team needs to be making fire. You wouldn't have said that last night, though, would yeah. you? Yeah, would yeah. You have said they that said last night. You, you create... Would you have said that last night about fire? Yeah. What over said, shelter? Yeah. You would have said, said that when you're freezing cold. You would have said fire. Honestly, I don't think so. Ryan, please. And we just want to get a shelter for people because we didn't have it last night. We haven't done anything wrong. We just want to take care of the whole camp. Fucking hell! We're totally fucked. With the celebs divided. Ewan's team reluctantly agree to return to camp to discuss the situation with the others. Gotta calm down, Ewan, honestly. I love you to yeah, death, yeah. you know I do. Well, I know, but... Uh, There's no egos here. I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, the last two or three days have shown a real pattern of individuals or individual groups going off on missions which take a large part of the day and which aren't necessarily agreed on. Well, you know, sometimes determination takes over, yeah, yeah, but it's selfish and I, and I totally get that and it won't happen again.
Yeah. I think right now it's 100% fire. No matter what we do, no matter how long it takes, we need to get fire. Like the law of the jungle is fire is king, and like if you don't have fire, you die. Okay, mate, fair enough. I don't really care who gets fired as long as someone has it. it. Just do. Stop talking and do. Mm. On Castaway, he did it different. He did it like this, with a bamboo. Do you remember Tom Hanks? I know it's a film, but I'm just saying. After a wasted morning, the celebrities are now under pressure to get their fire going before nightfall. Hasn't that bojo got with the other side? Well, instead okay. of everyone watching me, Sorry, yeah, is I'm there other to stuff to do? No, okay, yeah, yeah, of course, sorry. I feel like it's that organised chaos, we're all like headless chickens, and everyone wants to do like, be really helpful, but there's not sort of any organisation. It's gonna rain. Oh, shit. To make matters worse, the spell of dry weather has come to an abrupt end. It's tough, but we're okay. It is tough, but we're okay. Nice and gently, gently, gently. Just really steady like that. I know it's not long stroke. Oh, fuck up. Everything's wet. I, I actually don't know what's happening. I think people are trying to make fire, but it's pissing down with rain. Yeah, man, what the fuck is this? I think people now understand the gravity of the situation, but there are a lot of problems. Like, it would it's not be easy warmth, to... just warmth, I think. Yeah, we need warmth. You know what, Sharon, I don't mean to be negative. I don't think we're going to get fire. Oh, man. I get really fed up. They just don't know. They, they don't know how this works. They don't know this environment. It's, it's like herding cats, trying to get people organized in a way where, where we can actually thrive. Keep working, please. Well, we all need to be working, so. The celebs did have a window of opportunity to get a fire going, but now they've wasted it. Now more than ever, they need to work as a team and focus on their two other survival priorities, shelter and food. We can't make fire anymore. It's impossible. I'm going in the jungle. Do you want to come with me? Breaking Bad star RJ wants to use the remaining daylight to look for something to eat. I just want one person, me and one other person. I can navigate the jungle very well with one person. I really can. Don't go to the jungle, bro. Swear down. I'm not, I've been I, there. I, I, Ain't pretty. No, dude, I'm, I'm not going to where y'all went. I'm, I just don't think you understand what happens when you turn around and you don't know where you are. It's not fun. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not looking for food. fun. You turn around once, you miss your direction, that's it. You have to understand that. I, I just, I'm done talking about this. I'm starting to lose a bit of sympathy, man. You're being a bit silly now. You are, right, RJ? I tried to make a plan and everyone shut me down. If this was real life, these people would be dying. We would probably already have one person dead. I'm starting to puddle in my shorts. My jacket's soaking wet. It's horrendous. I'm shivering like fuck. 3 a.m. This is a serious one. Lucy's soaking wet. And I'm just so cold. For the second night in a row, the celebs are being battered by a tropical storm without proper shelter or fire to keep them warm. Don't stuff the camera in my face. Someone go and check on you. OK, OK. Oh, babe. I just feel really weak and I have to move my legs and stuff. In wet clothes, the human body loses heat 25 times faster and hypothermia is now a real danger. I just need to get warm. We are in a state of absolute abjection. Ewan is in a terrible way. Uh, Lucy's properly ill by the look of it. I just got really hot and cold and my head's pounding and I feel really sick. Get us the fuck out of here! It's freezing here! Right, we need to speak to them and let them know the situation. Worried for the group's well-being, Bravo to Sarah. Dr. Sarah makes an emergency call to my safety team. Hello, Bravo. Send for Sierra. Hello, it's Sarah here. Um, just to let you know, we've got two people that are quite unwell. I think it's hypothermia. Due to the danger of deploying during an electrical storm, my safety team decide to give advice over the radio. OK, did you actually feel cold to touch? No, it doesn't feel cold on this chest. We recommend uh, get some buddy buddy heat generated. Over. Oh, rain is doing nice. What are you doing? I'm making sure we're not thirsty again. 
Breaking Bad star RJ is determined to make the best of a bad situation by collecting the rainwater. I'd rather make sure that we can get as much as we can while we got it. It's just so cold. It's like torture. I know. Hey, be a little optimistic, man. I mean, we don't really got much of a choice now, do we? <laughs> oh, see, I love this kind of shit. If anyone would like to help me, I'm going to go try and make a couple of quick TPs. With hopes of immediate assistance dashed. I need wood like this, about this length. RJ seizes the initiative and sets to work on a makeshift shelter for the group. Wait, what, what should I be doing? Making a teepee. Sit down this other side, next to this long one. I just need more palms. Yo, RJ. Oh, yeah. Thank you. It's all good. Hey, Ryan, bring those over here. It's actually quite dry inside. I know it doesn't look it, but it actually really is. People that are almost that have hypothermia need to go in first. Ewan, come on. No, get in here. Come on, Ewan, be strong, mate. Come on now, be strong, bro. I really need you to duck your head and just be very mindful of the beams. Hey, you sit right next to him. OK, crawl. Rotate onto the tree. After an hour's hard graft, the worst afflicted islanders are safely in RJ's shelter. Welcome to my crib. Would, what, how can you sustain all this when everyone else is a breaking point? Do we have a choice? At the end of the day, this is what we came here for. You're an absolute hero, RJ. You're a hero. This is Mark Watson reporting from the camp where last night floods caused devastation. This is the first look inside the camp that the world's press has had since the event. People sit around telling each other folk tales and anecdotes from the only way is Essex in order to try and brighten the mood. A doctor, meanwhile, makes emergency inspections to see how many further lives have been blighted by this tragedy. The courage of these people in the face of these awful scenes should not be underestimated and their efforts to persevere with good humour and stoicism are Pretty impressive. Mark Watson news it. Uh, we don't. We don't know what the time is. The celebrities have made it through the night thanks to RJ's emergency shelter. Oh, is that RJ down there? But it comes at a price. RJ, are you sleeping? His hands are wrecked from all the things he's been doing with them. I'm going to let him sleep because he's exhausted, and he's helped so much with trying to make people dry at night and building shelters and teepees and things and stuff, so he needs an hour. Here they are. Now able to deploy, my safety team arrives on the island to assess the situation. Right, how was last night? Awful. Um, awful. It's really awful. Just wet. Just, just absolutely wet. soaking wet and, and freezing cold and nothing we could do to, to stay dry, to be honest with yeah. you. Everything's damp. I'm going to be brutally honest with you because I think that's what you need at the moment. I'm not going to blow smoke up your ass and say that you're doing a, an amazing job and everything's great because things can improve. See the difference? That's dark and a bit wet. And then you've got all that nice dry stuff. The celeb's failure to work as a team has had dire consequences. After a night of torrential rain, there's no way they're going to start a fire anytime soon. And with the group at breaking point and now at serious risk of hypothermia, I've got no choice but to throw them a lifeline. We needed some help. Do you know what? I actually don't feel that bad about it because I just think the fact that we've had this horrendous rain, you just kind of feel like we're getting some really good direction. But not all of the islanders welcome my safety team's help. I really feel like we could have done this on our own. I look over and... The only person that's doing a lot of the work is the survival team that came. Fucking smoke. No smoke without fire. Guys! Fire! Oh my god! Yes! Shavings! Oh my god! Come on, wood shavings, guys! Wood! Wood shavings! Here! Well done, Ewan. Yesterday it felt like there was no light at the end of the tunnel, but today, oh, oh, it's a good feeling. It's given us a bit of a lease of life. With a fire started and the weather improving, my safety team leave the island. 
We've got our fire now, which is amazing, which means we can have dry clothes. Yes! Camp morale is just like, oh my God. Hair's looking on point. D Danny Zuko. Eat your heart out, yeah. This is like Dad Dalton, proper Dad Dalton. <laughs> But Breaking Bad star RJ is refusing to join in with the group's celebrations. I came here to survive, and I feel that there isn't a lot of people that, that realize how serious this is and, and what we are doing here. Hey, gather around. Everyone, listen. RJ assembles a group for a meeting. I just feel very disappointed in the team that we weren't more prepared. Someone comes in. Yay, we're saved! And they should have never even been on this island. They really shouldn't have. RJ, do you, do, do you not feel happy? We're just so unorganized. I, I just really feel that over the last couple of days, we really learned nothing. We are very disorganized, RJ, but we're trying to put that right. I just know what's going to happen. So, I'm leaving today. Mate, why don't you just give it three days? If the team haven't bucked up their ideas and you're still not happy and we're not pulling away, then go. I honestly don't know. I don't want anyone to go, I really don't. But he said we're very dysfunctional, which at the moment he is correct. That is accurate. Do you know what, RJ, why don't you just sleep on it and we, we talk about it in the morning, yeah? RJ is a really important part of this team. He's had the most experience in the outdoors and to lose someone like him is going to be really crucial to us. The news is a blow to the group, but there are chores to be done. Can you not remember the way to the water source? Now they have fire. At long last, the celebs can boil and purify water. Just remember, big tree, then big tree. Big tree, then big tree. This is the quickest yeah. route. I mean, what's that thing? What do pineapples grow like? What do they...? They're in the ground in a root with the tops coming out of them. Looks like a pineapple. pineapple! What's the matter? Where? Where? Pineapple! Loads of them! Pineapple! There's one there, there's oh one here. God, pineapple. pineapple! Guys, look! Woo! Woo! Yes. Pineapple! Oh my wow! God. This is the best thing we've had all week. This is sexual. This is like crack cocaine. Just a present! There is food here. There's food on this island, and we can survive. Pineapple! Hey. Pineapple! Hey. You have two big beets each, and one of the small bits, so you have three all together. Yippee! I'm trying not to waste the juice. I'm like, no pineapple at home that tastes like this. Oh. Yeah, the man from Del Monte can go fuck himself. Absolutely. <laughs> it's the best thing that's ever been put in my mouth. <laughs> Um, Just occasionally, this brutal environment drops something completely unexpected into your lap. It won't stop you from starving, but just a little bit of sugar restores your glucose levels and does wonders for morale. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good fire, man. Well done, RJ. How are you feeling, though? Better? Uh, yeah, I guess. With the group spirits lifted, the celebs are hoping RJ will change his mind about leaving. All we're saying is you're a massive asset to the team and maybe you just slow down a little bit. Stop putting, your, yeah, stop putting yourself under pressure. I, I really hate to, like, to sound like an asshole, but I know what I need to do. We need you here because this is a long time. I'm not doing this to hurt you. I'm really disappointed that RJ wants to go. So it's really difficult because we all want to keep him because he's got a, a mind of information. Before you put it on, let me let me organise the fire because the fire is killing itself. I think he's the main man here. He's an ultimate survivor as far as I'm concerned. Bravo to Papa, bravo to Papa, over. Hello, bravo, same for Sierra. Um, I, I want to leave. I feel that it's... It's something that I have to do, and I've made up my mind. Hey, everyone. It's
it's official. They're on the way. After just eight days on the island, Breaking Bad star RJ has decided to leave. You do the right thing for yourself and you've done yeah. that, okay, mate? So, yeah. and don't worry, we're gonna stay alive. It's good luck, mate. Look out for yourself, man. Yeah, I will. Happy? I, I can't be a part of this anymore. I've decided to leave this because of the group. I feel in, in, in a survival situation, a few of these people probably would have been eaten. Drink and eat well. Have a beer for us. Bye, RJ! I think RJ blaming the group dynamic is a, an interesting way to say I want to go home. It feels like a betrayal to some extent. Ooh. We've got no survival skills. Our camp has zero survival skills. People don't realize how much we're going to miss them. I do. Losing a member of the team is the clearest possible sign the group survival strategy just isn't working. They need to think long and hard about what's gone wrong and then start pulling together as a team. We need some carbs. Hard. Fuck it. I haven't got any fucking energy, have I? It's eight days since the celebrities have eaten a proper meal. So frustrating because there's so many things that look like yucca. Finding food is now an urgent priority. I can see 200 snails in one glance, and they're famously slow, so we would get them as well. I've ensured the island has enough vegetation and indigenous animals throughout to keep them alive. But for the exhausted celebs, finding food is easier said than done. I've been in and out of the jungle all day. We were out for seven hours looking for yucca and we brought home some coconuts. How depressing. After a day's hunting, the celebs head back to camp with little to show for their efforts. What would make you happy, Sharon? <sighs> Pina colada <laughs> and, a, and a Big Mac. Oh, hang on, guys. RJ, this is glasses. Now, I'm telling you, man, the wind is coming in from the <laughs> southwest. Now, what that tells me is the mosquitoes will go north, but the food will go east. And what we got to do is we got to drain the water. And trust me, these glasses are bifocal. We're at RJ's laboratory, <laughs> and we have found <laughs> rainwater in the bottles that he actually bags. cut and lined them up here. All right, sweetheart. Tastes like Evian. I've been dreaming of that. Oh, cheers to RJ, even though he's gone. His presence is still here. I just haven't got anything left in me. I know. I'm on zero. I oh, know. It's just not me, and I hate it. I'm like the opposite person to me. Oh, no. I know we You've all You've been are. amazing the whole time. Can we have a walk? Yeah, have a little Try walk and have a little walk and a talk. The day's excursions have taken their toll on model Lucy. You ain't dying. Worried she might follow RJ, actor Ryan takes her for a heart to heart. You're determined, you're strong. That's why I get on with you so well. I'm just broken. Well, you've got to do this. You've got to. I know how lucky I am to have a really special bond with Ryan. He's honestly the kindest person I've ever met. We're literally like best friends. We, we talk about everything together. I just want you to do this for you, darling. I, I know you'd be so disappointed. I want to do it so bad. I, just, I know you do. I just I can't explain how I feel. I know you probably feel just as shit. No, I don't feel. I, I do feel shit, but I I feel more shit when when I feel when I feel you like this, because it rubs off on me. Your energy rubs off on me, and it makes me really upset. Today is probably the lowest I've felt for a while. I don't want to quit. I never I've never quit at any challenge I've taken on, but. I'm very close. Despite his own exhaustion, Ryan heads off alone in search of food for Lucy. Yeah, it's heartbreaking because she's my little soulmate in here and see her be so tough and then crack like that really worried me, scared me a little bit. Um, and I really don't want her to go. Right, you're gonna put the flower in? The one thing that's made me the person I am today is family. Um, you know, my relationship's amazing with my daughter, Scarlett. Keep going! I'm quite a soppy guy. 
I'm very old fashioned in the fact that I like to be the man who looks after the women. I'm a single, yes, I'm single. I don't think you could even find romance on an island where you're there to survive, trying to cop off the ladies with stinky breath and not showered in three weeks. It's not the way forward, is it? It's not the most impressive start. Where's Ryan? Where is Ryan? Ryan! Ryan hasn't been seen for over an hour. Ryan's disappeared. I'm telling you, he's gone off on his own. I know he has. The celebrities have agreed not to leave camp without at least one other person in case they get into difficulty. Ryan! Ryan! That we have to stay in pairs because, you know, he could have walked over those rocks, bumped his head, and God knows what would happen, you know? There's only so much help we can get here. And he's walked off on his own. And I'm more panicked. Everyone's really panicked. It's horrible. It's the most horrible feeling. Ryan! There's someone over there on the rocks. What are you doing, bro? Sorry, man. Stupid idiot. Why is he such a twat? I just went, I went around the beach and I just carried on to see if he was any live there. And I just had to carry on a little bit. So what? I can't be bothered. Worried everyone. Sorry, boys. He's not getting any sympathy from me. Silly move, I know, but just went round the cove and then another cove arrived and I thought, oh, I just want to see if there's any life here. He's in a fucking lunatic town, that's what he was. This one I need to get is a bitch and it's the juiciest one. After returning empty-handed from his solo expedition, Ryan is determined to get Lucy at least something to eat. You can't get all the way up there, babe. No, it's that one there, see that? Just don't hurt yourself. I just want this one I'll get down, I promise. The desperation now is ridiculous. Like, literally putting your life at risk to get a coconut. Men. men. Bloody men. Bloody women? Yes! Yes, you got it. Really careful. Slowly. Yes. Just go slowly, please. Yes! Uh, thank you. But don't do it again, you silly boy. He's worrying me. He keeps climbing up trees. He's not supposed to do that. He keeps wandering off and he's worrying the whole camp and worrying me because I don't want him to hurt himself because I don't want him to go. Yeah. Promise you, darling, I'm going to get him yucca tomorrow. Our hero. <laughs> Look at these lovebirds walking off arm in arm. That's right. Surprised they've got energy for any of that, mate. Good on them. It, it's friendship at the moment. I agree with you, and that all we're seeing there is friendship with a view to possible long to medium term banging. <laughs> We discovered this morning, Ryan won Best Bum of the Year 2008, uh, and Mecklenburg was number seven in FHM's 100 sexiest women in the world. Imagine if they had a baby, they'd bum on that in a non-dodgy way. The genetics, that came when out wrong. Up. What I meant is, if they were to have a child, imagine in the future the physique of that child and the beautiful looks. We've been caught, like we're naughty children. <laughs> You're 32, I'm 25. <laughs> it's all right, I think. Dinner. After over a week of near starvation, all the celebrities have to eat tonight is a handful of snails Mark collected earlier. We have to um, smash everyone individually. Sorry, guys. So grim. Not a lot to see, but it's a little tiny creature like that. You have to winkle it out and, um, like a sort of fishy jelly top, if you like. Excuse me, sorry. We need more food than this, but in our situation, that is like going to the fat duck, basically. We're basically running on shit unleaded. The red light came on three days ago. We're starving. After last night's meagre meal, the celebs wake up hungrier than ever. I feel so weak. My body's eating itself. Yeah. It just feels all my goodness I have inside over the years of training and stuff is just eating. I can feel myself shrinking. It's silly saying it, but I can physically feel myself shrinking, not just size-wise externally. I know all my organs and everything inside are just fighting to work. It gives me a glimpse, and this may sound really morbid. My co coach resting, who died very recently, when I went to see him in the care home, he, he, he stopped eating, he kind of gave up and he was so frail. 
And I can kind of see in a weird way, yeah, without the food, without the nutrients, you do become so weak, you must just sleep and pass away. The celebrities are fast approaching the point of no return. They've hardly eaten anything. And the reality is they're getting weaker by the minute. And if they don't find food soon, what is a hard situation is going to become an awful lot worse. Right, let's go. We're off to get water. Good, Good luck, girls. Good yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Take it steady. The group plan to go out hunting again, but first they must replenish their all-important water supply. It doesn't look like the most appetising. No, it doesn't. I just saw bubbles in the water. Poke. I'll poke. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, my God! What oh, my it? God! Yeah, there's something in there, but I don't know what it is. Stay calm. The celebs have stumbled on the island's most fearsome predator. Can you run back because you know the direction the best? OK. If they can kill it, the croc is big enough to provide a substantial meal. I know it's so scary, but we have to think of this as a godsend because we haven't eaten in nine days. Everybody stay calm. What? There's a caiman. Holy shit. In our water source. Oh, my God. So, whoever's feeling... Let's go. Relax. I heard someone say Cayman. Yeah. Is it true? Yeah. Let's fucking get it. I have to do this. This is what I came to the island for. I need a knife. I'll pin it. You can it. Come on, mate. We've got this. Good luck, guys. Be safe, please. Desperate to provide for the group, Ewan and Ryan decide they will take on the Cayman together. Oh, Ryan and Ewan, the big boys. Don't do anything stupid. I want you to come back in one piece. No panicking, mate, no hesitation. We've got this. It is a bit of a double-edged sword that they found the camera because, before we know it, might be really hungry, thinking, I hope some people come along. It could play out either way, is all I'm saying. Come, come, come! Is it in the water? He is. Fuck. Head is definitely there. You can see its eyes if you look carefully enough. I see it, I see it, I see it. We need to get it out of the water. Let's get him out. Here he is, mate. Here's his head here. I'm poking it. The celebs have been taught how to catch and kill a crocodile, but only on dry land. He's gone under a bit. In the water, the croc is far more dangerous. Oh, yeah, fucker. He's right here, guys. Let's just try and entice it out of the water full stop. That's one of its arms. Oh, oh. The Cayman crocodile has razor-sharp teeth, lightning reflexes, and a bite that is three times more powerful than a lion's. <laughs> Try tackling one of these prehistoric beasts in the water, and you're immediately at a disadvantage. The croc's in its natural habitat, and you're not. One false move, and these scenes can literally rip your arm clean away from your shoulder. Grab his tail and pull him out. I'm just saying, you know that in our training we were told never to go near its tail. I'm just worried that it's going to jump out and chop someone's hand off. Drag into a space, a space. Oh, shit, that was coming to me fucking near okay, my hand, okay, that. Okay, okay, okay. It was too near my hand, that. I recommend we go from head, which is what we were taught. We get the noose behind the back teeth and go for the head. Oh, I don't need this, guys, man. I don't it need work, this. Man. It oh, won't guys. work. I know, I know, but please, just please. So what are you trying to do, Ryan? We're trying to, trying to do it. We don't need everyone's opinion every five seconds. Just chill. Please, it'll just take time, patience. Don't need everyone saying a bit two pennies every five seconds. So why aren't we doing it the way we were taught? Let I'll tell you what, do you want to do it then? No, just do it. I will happily do it if we do, do it then. the way we are you taught Ryan, to do Ryan, it. Ryan, all right? Well, let's do it, let's I'm do it. Two, Ryan, three opinions Ryan, is enough. Ryan, yeah. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. Everyone was talking over each other. They just get so fucking excited. They're like 14-year-old boys. Ryan, Ryan, let's try and get the noose on his head. Let's just try it, OK, mate? He opens his mouth now and get him. 
Can you give him a little hit on the head? A bit harder. Oh, he oh, had his mouth open. Ah! That was dangerous. Right, let's have a two minutes. Almost an hour has gone by, and the celebs are losing the battle. Fucking hell, that was scary. You just want to get to it. Let's try again, let's see if we can get his body up. Right, who's got sticks to poke? I've got, I've got one. I know it's scary, you use, you right, use it, right, I'll yank right, him out. Right. There he is, got him? Yeah. Right, can you get a new son? Get the noose on first. Get the noose on. Yeah, back teeth. That's cool. going to be enough. Pull, string. It. Pull, the string. Pull, Pull it. String. Pull it right down. 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 Sit on him! Let me sit in the front! Let me sit in the front! Let me sit in the front! Sit on him! Give me that! Give me that! Why aren't they sitting on him? Sit on him! Sit on him! Sit on him! You do it! You do it! Yes! Oh my god! Yes! Get in there! Go on! These two fucking alpha males, I can't. You alright? Yeah, I'm alright. I'm alright. We needed him, man. I just need to eat, man. I need okay, so, so need happy. To... Oh, I know, we need to... It's all right, mate. It's hard for you. You're a vegetarian. I'm a vegetarian. They just like murdered that. an animal in cold blood. It's really awful to watch. It doesn't feel very nice, but we're hungry. <laughs> and it's him or us, I'm afraid. I don't feel sad one little bit, and I don't know if that's just I'm so tired, I've got no feelings, or I'm just so hungry, I'm grateful. So let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Came in burgers tonight without the bun and lettuce and ketchup. <laughs> we need a big fire. Woo! Yeah! 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 That is a lovely fucking animal. Oh my god! Woo! It's strange because I feel quite proud that I've killed a caiman and perhaps I should be feeling bad. But if I'm honest, I don't. I don't have any emotion at all. I just saw it as food. I didn't see it as an animal. Oh! Well, they say that the sweetest meat is always nearest the bone. That's dinner. Well done, guys. And when you've risked your life to kill the island's most fearsome predator, that sense of triumph can be overwhelming. You're the best. The celebs have landed themselves a feast of epic proportions. I can't believe the veggie's oh, doing the blood's this. coming out. Oh, oh. You're a legend for doing this as a vegetarian. I'm only child. doing this so that you lot eat. Lucy and Shazia. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Volunteer to gut the caiman. I don't know what to do. I've never killed a crocodile before. Hello. <laughs> right, these are the intros. Oh, oh. 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 Jesus. Oh. I never thought I'd be capable of doing what I'm doing, but I'm just pushing myself to do it. Sometimes you have to. You have to push yourself. Come on, lads. Put the dinner on. Let's have some silence. Sizzle on the barbie. Food is so close. The anticipation is rising very fast. It's, it's the most ready in my life I've ever been to eat a member of the crocodile family. First bit is being served. Big boy, I've got to try a bit of that. It's a celeb's first proper meal in nine days. Oh. Thousands of nutritious calories of protein and fat. It really is nice. Mm. It's good. It's like the best feeling ever, having to chew something properly, eat, and all the hard, all the hard work that everyone put into catching it and filleting it and gutting it. It's so worth it. Mm. The killing of the caiman has presented vegetarian Shazia with a dilemma. I haven't eaten meat for seven years. But survival times. I know. We're absolutely starving. It's fine. It's fish. It's just yeah. a little fish. <laughs> oh, God. It's like a lamb chop. It was a desperate situation. It's not, I'm not proud of it. It was a great effort today. Everyone. 
Right. We're beginning to really work together as a team, but I know what this island's like. We obviously can't just sit back and think we're there yet because some bastard thing will happen later. But there are highs and lows. Yeah, today's a high. And right now is a 420 high if you know what I mean. You know that is the penis, that bit, don't you? Thanks for that, Ewan. Right? I think we're all going to have a nap after this, food coma. Literally the dream day. It's like the best day ever. I don't care that I didn't sleep last night. We're happy. We're a happy little group now. Look at this. They seem so cute. They found love in a hopeless place. Yeah. Next time on the island. I want a wild boar. You and I'm worried about your mental health. Bang! Bang! Fish! It's all fish! Jordan, can you help? I'm not very good at tidying. Jordan, he doesn't seem to do that much. Fuck this, I ain't worked my whole life to have this shit. God, I'm fucking knackered. Oh, crikey. Shazia, you had more ketones in your urine. My body is officially starving to death. <laughs> Somebody, can they help? Shit. <laughs>